And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, here we go. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. You already know who we are because of the intro, so don't ask me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well, you don't know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Jelly Bean. Everything we discuss in the show politically, which is... 99.9999% of the time, never good news, is part of our series, Capitalism in a Conch Shell. There's the conch, soaking that conch energy from the briny deep, from, from Poseidon, King Neptune, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, um, you know, I just want to start off, I, I mean... Are you going to pay me? <laughs> yeah. This past two weeks, every time I had a call on office from a different source, I encountered nothing but incompetence, no matter who I spoke to. I felt like I was in bizarro world. Really, it was like, and I'm very, you know, when I talk to people, uh, on, on the phone from, from a corporate office. I speak slowly and, and loudly and clearly. I give the account number slowly and clearly. I ask them if the right account appears up on the computer monitor and they say, usually they say yes. But then the, the women in the office start asking me stupid questions and ask me to repeat what I just told them. I yeah. said, how many times? How many times, and this is my mother's insurance company named WellCare, hey. how many times do I need to slowly spell my name and my mother's name? Do you have my mother's uh, information on the screen or do you not? Did I give you the correct account number or did I not? Why are you being, there's one thing I can't stand is, is having to be redundant. First of all, did you, <laughs> did you get permission from your mother before you began that stuff? She asked me to put my mother on the right. phone. My mother right. said, of course I give my son, James P. Madonna, authorization to speak in my behalf. Okay. okay. All right. I took the phone. Did, did you hear that? Is that okay? Well, the girl says yes. She was one of those. She was uh, sounded like a millennial. She was a fast talker, like she was really hyped up on caffeine. She oh. talked really fast. It's it's not easy to understand these young chicks in the office because they're like ba 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 ba. You know, sometimes you have to ask them to slow down. But I, I don't talk fast. I make sure they get all the information. Didn't do any good. She started to get my mother's hard of hearing. She started, the girl started to get nasty with me. Ended up in a fight. I reported her. My sister called. My sister got the runaround too. They were, this had to do with getting approval to have a caregiver come over a couple times a week for several hours, you know, to keep an eye on my mother while, you know, I get things done. Okay. Because she's in her 80s, you know. So anyway, so they were giving my sister the runaround. My sister finally had to get the head supervisor and report the whole rude incident 
to the top uh, muckety muck bananas of well care and they apologize profusely like Whoa. they always do. We're so sorry you got to go through that. We're so sorry. And then they straightened everything out. The whole idea was that my mother's primary care physician had to fax the okay for her to get have a caregiver and have the insurance pay for it. Yeah. But when I tried to finalize this whole thing, they kept on giving me to run around and they gave, started giving my sister to run around. Now you see where I'm going with this? This is uh, all connected to um, the American uh, capitalist healthcare system that the establishment politicians want us to stay with. The privatized healthcare system which fucks with you. I, I got the feeling they really did not feel like paying for my mother's uh, care, you know, because my wife, because my mother wasn't on the uh, upper echelon uh, health insurance plan because she was she, didn't have the cat she was a, a Medicare uh -huh. slash Obamacare uh -huh. slash Medicaid patient uh -huh. so they were you know being rude mm -hmm. um, hey even that guy um, they had the problem with Social Security disability he called me and says he went to the two Social Security doctors and they were both very rude and very like nasty and argumentative it's like hey man if the government doesn't pay you the full amount doctor you don't have to accept it don't take out your frustrations out on the patients you know like they're like they're at the bottom of the barrel like they're scum mm -hmm. you know what I mean this is see this is all part moochers. this is all part moocher moocher well if, as soon as you're born you're a moocher Unless you have a silver spoon in your mouth. Uh, but you see, you see what the problem is with a pay-out-of-pocket capitalist system where you have to pay out-of-pocket for everything, education, health care, you know, the, what Hillary Clinton wants. All establishment politicians want that. You see what it is? You get shit unless you have the bucks. If you, if you have Cadillac the... Insurance. If you have the Cad, Cad do Cadillac insurance, and you're part of the top 20% in America, you're treated pretty well. Other than that, they treat you like, like you're subhuman. You know, but this whole pay out of pocket capitalism, free market capitalism, just like privatization, historically, statistically, doesn't really work. Has not worked. Unless you're rich. But that's why it's supposed to work. You mean Capitalism if you're rich. Is, I just uh, my article, which I just finished last night, really? is all about capitalism and its flaws and its its uh, problems and etc. And we we love it. We love it. It's it's like religion to us, etc. Well, maybe to a teabagger. But capitalism, uh, you know, it's got to be uh, not a teabagger. They they. Tea baggers, you got to understand, are almost populist. Well, they're fla they're yeah, but they're they flag are almost wavers. with Bernie. How could they be? They're flag because wavers. They're always America yeah. number one, America number one. But not their party. You see, they have a problem with their party, with the establishment, just like Bernie's people do. Well, Paul Ryan wants to exclude people uh, with uh, uh, pre-existing illnesses from Obamacare. Right. Nice guy. Uh, I, I heard, I read that the Republican replacement for for Obamacare is horrible. I already knew that. Where is it? There is no replacement. The replacement is, it's called the drop dead plan. There you go. You don't have the money to get decent health care, right. you drop dead. But guess what? They, you, don't, they, they haven't put that on paper. No. But that's what but it that's is. It's plan. the drop yeah. dead plan. That's their plan. All of them. All of these establishments. Get the hell out of the emergency room. Die on the sidewalk. Hey, even even today's Democrats. Obama. Hey, the Obama administration with um, Loretta Lynch, which I have a feeling Obama kind of knew from, <coughs> I think she might be from sh Chicago, Illinois. I think she he knew her way, way back when. But anyway, 
the whole entire Obama administration has been and still is protecting the DNC and Hillary Clinton from indictment. They are, and, 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 and it sounds like, I don't know if these, are, these articles are lies or propaganda, but it sounds like Bernie Sanders is starting to wuss out. He's starting to soften up to the establishment. I don't know how true it is that Bernie Sanders made, him, made an error and said he will vote for Hillary Clinton and then took it back. I have no idea. No, no, he, he said that. He, he, he said he will. But he's still going for the convention. But he said, but he, but he said he might endorse Hillary. Yes, at the end, when 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 they they all vote for her. What about what, when they all vote for her? What about Jill Stein and the Green Party? Jill Stein just what, doesn't have the number. Why isn't why is Bernie Sanders actually taking a, a good hard look at a corporatist like Hillary Clinton, a corrupt There's corporatist? There's only one reason. And not continuing the grassroots There's revolution no and going with Jill Stein. He's a traitor to no. the people. No. He's a traitor. And it, you're an idiot for it's siding with the only way to prevent Trump. Nah, bullshit. I'm voting for Jill Stein then. You can vote for her, but that the point is she doesn't have the number. I am not voting for a crook. Plain and simple. I am not voting for the establishment. But that's only me. If you want to go with the establishment, go with the establishment. I don't care. You know what? Americans still are not ready for true change. Of they, course they not. Have, they, have a they have a deep, warped psychological problem with common sense. It's really common sense to, that you need to decide on who you're going to vote for in an election. It doesn't take a, a high IQ or brilliance. It's like, what does the candidate bring to the table for you? Forget about corporations and big business, because that's a bunch of who. They didn't do that though, did they? For you, your loyalty should be to your wallet, my friends. Mm -hmm. What does Hillary Clinton bring to the table for people of color, minorities, women, young people, uh, uh, um, disabled, forgotten, neglected veterans, uh, so on and so forth. The little guy, the poor. What does she bring to the table? I don't see anything. She doesn't Nothing. bring anything to the table. Nothing, but she's got the dollar gates. Because they were, she cheated. So if you well, want to look, if you want, people are suing. If you want to stay, yeah, and, and millions are supposed we'll to. See what happens. The millions are supposed to march on the DNC in Washington. Let's see if the mainstream media televises that. Uh, probably not. Anyway. Probably so not. the Chisler's Hall of Shame goes to the Obama administration, to <laughs> Bernie Sanders and his campaign manager, which are pussies, which have no coolioons. You see the, the they're not real balls, the but fact you see the two gonads hanging from my blackthorn shillelagh? They got no coolioons. The pigeon livered ultra liberal a pacifist that could not go be honest and go head on to debate Hillary Clinton in the debates. Oh no! He couldn't do to Hillary what he did to Alan Greenspan. Oh no! He had to be gentle and hold back with uh, uh, Madam Secretary. Oh, he, he's such a so afraid, the, lib the ultra-liberal. He's so afraid of being called a misogynist, so he had to go easy on Madam Secretary. No coolions. You see, that's what the ultra-liberal pacifists in the progressive movement have. No coolions. Okay? And they're not, they, America does not, does not deserve somebody who's sincere about a grassroots revolution like Jill Stein. No, they don't. Because they won't elect them. Because the people are not ready for change. The problem with Bernie is he doesn't have the delegates. Simple. But they. Bingo. But why didn't they bring this to legal action a long time ago? Well, time about is the cheat about cheat uh, uh, election fraud and the cheating. Didn't expect it, I guess. <laughs> 
Bernie Sanders, 30 year uh, a veteran senator in Washington, did not expect the establishment a Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton to cheat. Mm. I don't think so. And I took a good look at the kisser on his campaign manager, and he looks like an ultra liberal pacifist hippie. He looks like the fucking guy is mild mannered. He's like no, Wally no. Cox. He looks like. He could have brought this to the highest courts of the land. He could have brought this. He could have made a big stink about all this election fraud. But he didn't do it. Neither well, did Pussy. Hey. The only one of the few Jews I, I, I like, Bernie Sanders, didn't do shit about the fraud, about the cheating. You're disgraceful, all of you. No coolies. No coolies. First of all. No coolies. First of all, Bernie would have to find out about these things. Find out about it? Yeah. Well, we all found yeah. out about it after, exactly. after so now, who's Iowa. Sue? After Iowa, we found out about it. So now who's going to sue? If you get, why bother to have all these rallies nationwide? Why bother to spend money on, on plane fare and, and all this and have all these rallies? Work your ass off, talking, speeches and interviews and, and going on CNN or whatever. And uh, the Young Turks and MSNBC. Why bother if you know that the election is rigged? He didn't. He didn't know. That's the problem. But we knew. No, you knew yes. after the fact. No, after Iowa, they're doing articles galore all over the internet. After about After the fact. It had to occur it first. Plenty, it was plenty of time for him to do something about it. Well, it, it probably, he doesn't have standing to do something about it. He don't Maybe have the stamina. People, He's too old. The people of Iowa have the standing it's not just the court, Iowa. maybe. Arizona, nobody in Arizona, the people of Arizona. California, he's still, Bernie's still flipping counties. It's like, you know, and of course the media, the projected winner for everything, yeah. according to them, is Hillary Clinton. Because they don't want the socialists in the White House. They want the same old shit, pay out of pocket, free market capitalism, the same bullshit. They don't want, you know what, Hillary? Yes. The United States is not Sweden. Sweden actually cares for its people. Correct. And so does Norway. And so does Denmark. Correct. And so does Finland. Correct. And Deutschland. So if you want to know more about this particular subject, get the newsletter. It's coming out. A new Please issue. no change. Newsletter uh, censored. Please, please no change. Please. please. Comma. No change. It happened back in November of 2014. America proved then that they're not ready for real change because they re-elected they, they re all the Republican Listen. governors and all the Republican congressmen and all the Republican senators. And then they re-elected McConnell then, and re-elected uh, 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 Rand Paul Ra and, Paul and Ryan. Re elected Paul Ryan, the Muppet face himself. Who was so nervous and making Muppet faces and drinking profusely every really? few seconds when Joe Biden was kicking his ass in the 2008 debate? Muppet face Paul Ryan didn't know what the hell to say. He did, he was pathetic. Yeah. He was even more pathetic, much more pathetic than Chris Christie was against Barbara Bono. But he got reelected. But he got reelected. The peep, the asshole, stupid evangelicals out Look, there we re elected them. We gotta understand something. Nah. Even our American Revolution, only one third of the Americans were for it and fought it and etc. That one third was uh, the royalists. They went with King Georgie, and then the other ones didn't give a shit. So you had you had you had only ass, one third. So you had sycophants and ass kissers even back then. Absolutely. The sycophant. Now the difference between the sycophant and and the um, and the panderer is that the sycophant kisses your ass because they want something in return. They want something in return. The panderer, I think, just kisses your ass out of sympathy. Maybe they feel sorry for you. Maybe they feel guilty. You know, like like uh, 
giving special treatment to uh, a lobbying to a certain race, uh, 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 lesbians or gays or people of color or whatever, you know, giving special treatment to these people because they feel guilty or bad, like they don't deserve anything. You know, it's different. A sycophant usually wants something. Like, for instance, if you're a regular Joe six-pack and a hot-looking chick walks up to you with a big smile, she she most likely is trying to sell you something. Hey. Or, or maybe you she found out you won the, uh, the Powerball lottery or something like that. Like, in other words, if it's too good to be true, they want something. It, you know, it is. It's, it's too good to be true. So, uh, I mean, this is it. I don't have to. I don't have to uh, give you any detail about who the inductees of this week's Chisler's Hall of Shame is because it's self-explanatory. It's pathetic. It really is. Anyway, your take on it, and if not, let us sink our teeth into these readings. Bugaboo. Take on what? I don't know. <laughs> take on the cake. You take the cake. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's like, hey, it's, it's real. Hey, I will say something. The end time countdown. Ooh, speaking, um, hey, oh, oh now, I got, now I got to take. Because people have no coolions. Now I got to take. The, that's the magic word for this week's show. Coolions. The lack of coolions. Now I got to take. Now you got to take. Take a piss. Britain voted to leave the EU. I heard a lot of experts in Europe say that the European Union is, is corrupted. Well, it's going to be more corrupt. I didn't know it was corrupt. There are 17 more people, I thought, nations in the EU which have to leave. I thought for they, the beast to rise. Yeah, but I thought that the European Union was the perfect model to uh, set it for the world. It will be. It's for the world. It will be for something like three and a half or four years. Okay. You know, with the euro, the strong currency, the euro, euro and, and what about the... Uh, Ten nations will be left, and the beast shall rise. The seventh rising of the Holy Roman Empire. But things are, are working so well in, in Northern Europe economically, and I don't understand why they're having issues. Why, what is the problem with the European Union? And even Vladimir Putin turned out to be a hell of a nice guy. And a hero. I know. Hero. I know you like Israel, like like the. I American. do not like anybody in politics. They are pathological. All of them, including Netanyahu. Everyone. By the way, who is getting a ton more money for mili uh, in military aid yeah. from the United States, a uh, uh, taxpayer. Uh huh. Why is that? Because we don't want to give it to the poor people so they can eat properly and work properly and, 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 and become rich. Look, it has been proven time and time again, time in and time out, that the, the, the money that could totally eradicate poverty Ooh. in the United States is like Let's say the military budget, which sucks up most of the money, yeah. which is bloated beyond belief. Let's yeah. say the military budget is the sun, and then you have the planet Earth next to the sun, and that you see, you know, the Earth, or Uranus, Mayanus, uh, Saturn, and you see the little dot, how, how much larger the sun is, you see the little Earth. That is what it would take to eradicate poverty if you took a little tiny percentage of the massive military budget and corporate welfare, which they don't complain about ever, and you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, cutting this and cutting yeah. that and food stamps and blah, and blah, the blah, economy blah. would work well. And the welfare, and, and forget about Bill Clinton's and Newt Gingrich's crappy welfare system. You you could f afford to bring back the original welfare system. 
You wouldn't need a welfare. But then system. the Republicans would cry and complain. And and then guess what? Guess who always gives them FaceTime? Even if things are going well for the mainstream America. Republicans cry and main and mainstream media always puts the camera on them when they cry and whine and complain. <laughs> Taxpayers' money. Hey, you know what? Shut up. You got your rich? Shut up. Pay your taxes and keep quiet. Pay your high tax rate and shut the hell up or leave the country. That's it, you know. People are afraid to say no to others. You know what I mean? Like uh, modern parents are afraid to say no to their children. Uh, politicians are afraid to say no to, to corporate sponsors and so on and so forth and well, lobbyists. The Republicans sure say no to the poor. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So anyway, and that's it, baby. End time prophecy is being fulfilled. Uh, uh, America, it, it, it's not the, uh, it's not communism that's the enemy. It is uh, the devil's economics, of free market capitalism, which is the evil enemy. And that's it. It's all yours, buddy. The Reverend Doctor William J. Eisen. We got that new, that new newsletter. Hot off the pancake griddle, so get your subscription to, to support this work. <coughs> hey, support this work. I watched another one of those uh, young uh, geeky spin-offs of uh, Sank Uger of the Young Turks. All these uh, young, uh, uh, very geeky spin-offs trying to do the Sank routine, talk about politics. This kid, he's a geek. What was his name? should have wrote it down. Well, yeah. Well, there's only two more. There's only two that are popular. I should have wrote them no, down. No, there aren't. There's Sam Cedar. There's, uh, uh, uh what well, the hell is it? All right, name? this kid, it, it was on the group. I put it on the, on, on our Facebook group. He's got the friggin', um, uh, uh, webcam. From here, from his, uh, clavicle, his collarbone, and up. Like he's just, like, just like a head that's talking. Yeah. The background. His living room wall or dining room wall. That's all it is. That's all. No professional background, and he's rambling. <laughs> almost twenty thousand views. This this geeky punk. Almost twenty thousand views. What was he talking about? He's talking that's about the, the current the politics. Well, that's what gets you the views. What you're talking he's about. He's got his fucking living room wall behind him. He has no showmanship charisma whatsoever. He's just I, 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 that's the way he sounded. What about the guys who do it in their own car? All these fucking punks. And all the time the guys with the beards. All these fucking punks, man. We they, need a good boy man with a gun to take care of a bad man. They with got a gun. the fucking video. You know what it's like? It's it, it's equal to all these stupid selfies that all the kids are taking. Ah. The selfie where they you love where you see the freaking where you see the damn smartphone, they're they're taking the photo and they're in the mirror and you see the smartphone in the photograph. It's not a professionally done photograph. Oh no, they need a selfie stick. The stu <laughs> the studio, the the um, studio, the young guys that are you know offshoots, spinoffs of Sync. They have no. Some of them, a couple of them that have money have a studio. That look, you know, they got the the effects that <laughs> I admire. This kid with the twenty thousand views, he's got his his dining room wall behind him. He's like, rah, 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 rah. you fucking kids, you punks. You know what? Americans are the stupidest. Where is he? Old man Spock. Illogical. There is nothing more illogical than an American today. Any any generation, I don't care where, what generation it is, they're all fucking weird. I'm online at Walgreens to pick up a family member's prescription, and I'm talking. Uh, this old man, this old guy next to me, this cocksucker, he don't even smile. He don't even smile at any of my jokes. You know, I wanted to get crack him right across the jaw so hard. You stuck up bastard. You know how many people, you know, they're online at the store, 
and you're razzling them and dazzling them, and let's say you get one person to talk to you to laugh at your jokes, right? you got people with no sense of humor. You fucking anal retentive, and they think they know politics. They think they know the world. They don't know shit. That's why, that's why Hillary got away with cheating. That's why you believe Hillary is the right person for the job. Meanwhile, she's as corrupt as they can through her teeth. Nothing but illogic in America today. Old man Spock. And to you punks that don't recognize a super dynamic show like ours and, and you give this fucking geek 20,000 views, go fuck yourself. Now we will sink our teeth into these readings. Well, at least that guy you cocksucker. is not like uh, the uh, big the big studios who uh, use the green screen so that they can lie yeah. about their interviews and where well, they occur and etc. Well, brother, a uh, brother, uh, brother Sank of the Young Toys, he's got a studio like 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 Jesse Ventura has, where you know. If he's talking about an issue in a nanosecond, the article appears, you know, behind him, and then, it, then you get a close up. You know, uh -huh. you read it, you see photos, you read it, you know, and and Sank is narrating, and then it goes back to Sank nanosecond, back to Sank. Then the girl, the chicky poo with the high pitched voice, and might if she if she's next to him, not always, but it'll go to her. Bleep, bleep, blah, bleep, blah, blah, blah. I mean. Very professional, just like Jesse has. You know, Jesse's talking, and he's uh, off the grid in uh, in Baja, Cal uh, Mexico, and he's got the flag waving. He's talking, and there's the American flag actually waving uh, behind him. It's a, he's got a nice setup, but that's he's on, he's part of Aura TV, like well, you know Larry King. You want to see a great state of the art studio? I told you, you go to. Channel 26 here in uh, Lodi, New Jersey. Excuse me. And you look at Fox News, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Shepard Smith. Wait a minute. And you will see, you will not believe Wait a minute. There's the state a, of the art there's a Fox, studio. There's a Fox News program on, on local Lodi, on a local Lodi station. Or is Did it I Fox? not just say Fox Channel 26? Oh, yeah. All right. In Lodi, New Jersey with Optimum Fox. online? Oh, that's if you have Optimum. I, I, now I have Verizon Files. Well, I don't know where it is on there. No, it's a different, it might be 26 it's a different number. I have to get used to all different numbers now. They should have given you a... I did. They did. Okay. I have it. I got to read it. Hey, now. I got to read it. I was eight. Hey, I was looking for... Um, the travel channel and it's not the same channel anymore uh, see so but i was forget about forget about the uh, mysteries at the museum i was watching ancient aliens it was all night and it was freaking fantastic mm -hmm. one after the next ancient aliens seven bells for that program now there's a new convention called uh alien con and all of the people who produce ancient aliens will be there Ooh. Seven bells for Alien Con and Ancient Aliens. Sink your teeth, brother. Which is hotter? From another mother. The inner core of the Earth. Like no other. Or the surface of the sun. You know what? I would have to say it's the inner core of the Earth. You may be surprised to learn that the inner core of the Earth is roughly the same temperature as the sun. Roughly the same. That's incredible. 11,000 degrees that's incredible. Fahrenheit. That's incredible. Well, that's how we get all the seismic uh, activity and volcano eruptions and, you know, uh, tectonic plates uh, shifting. Even more surprising, the sun's corona, those gorgeous jets of plasma we see shooting from its exterior during an eclipse. I think there used to be a Toyota Corona. Is years far ago. hotter than its surface. Oh, oh really? You would expect the solar atmosphere oh, 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 oh. to be much less warm, but in fact, 
its temperature is in the millions of degrees. Holy crap. As the corona cools, corona. matter is blown away. Well, it's a beer. We call this the solar wind. Not the, uh, what was that song, the summer wind? No, this is the solar wind. Oh, the solar wind. Da, 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 da. Proper food handling and hand washing are nothing to sneeze at. That's cute. <laughs> Foodborne illness remains a serious issue that can sicken even healthy people with strong immune systems. In a recent op-ed article in The Record on germs, health, and the five-second bagel rule, Anna Devon Sand made the case that germs are necessary for healthy immune function. Speak for yourself. What did, what did she, uh, she related to the, the sand, the person who invented the sandwich? And the sand argued, man. that's Lord Sandwich, please. There was no sand involved in the first sandwich? Not unless you were at the beach. For fiber? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> and she argued that the five-second rule is a reasonable approach to dealing with food that falls on the floor. Listen to me. The person who handles the money at the register should never, ever, ever handle the food. Cross-contamination is the rule I follow. All right? Go ahead. While there is evidence that exposure to some microbes in infancy and throughout life helps to stimulate the immune system, Sand's argument fails to recognize the critical difference between harmless microbes and pathogenic. I don't want germs on my food. That's it. Plain and simple. This chick can say anything she wants disease-causing microbes that can pose a grave risk to health. Oh, my coolums. Our modern approach to hygiene, oh, including appropriate uh, hand washing, food handling, has made us healthier. It has contributed to a dramatic decrease in infectious diseases, a decrease in infant mortality, and an increase in average life expectancy. These advances should not be taken lightly, since even though we know a lot more about germs, there still continue to be outbreaks of serious, life-threatening diseases. Recently, there were reports of outbreaks of highly contagious diseases on college campuses including meningitis at Rutgers University, and mumps at Sacred Heart and Harvard University. I always thought that was a funny name for an illness, mumps. Mumps. Remember Moops from the Seinfeld? George was playing the bubble boy. He says, that's not Moops, you idiot. That's the Moors. <laughs> mumps. The Centers for Disease Control estimates that one in six Americans are victims of foodborne illnesses every year. Of those cases, oh, yeah. more than 100,000 are hospitalized and an estimated 3,000 die. Oh, wow. In the handbook, surviving in a germ-filled world, I explain how to reduce your risk of infectious disease through proper hand hygiene yeah. and food handling. If you're sick, stay home. Number one rule. Don't go to work. Don't infect others, you idiots. Regarding the so-called five-second rule, if food falls on the floor, it may or may not be safe to eat if it is recovered within a few seconds. 
Yeah. Some surfaces. Don't, don't count on that. Such as a sidewalk. Oh god. That has been baking in the sun. May be relatively germ free. What about the deutsch and dust? But some. <sighs> like bathroom. Or kitchen floors. Or public spaces. Maybe teeming with bacteria and viruses. You know, this woman is really From human waste. This, human, this woman is gross, man. What or she's contaminated a, food. What she's allowing... She didn't allow anything. It's being permissible. Yet. 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 We didn't hear yet. Yet. Would you want the five second rule? To be practiced by a restaurant worker who dropped your pizza? Yeah, and throw... Or your, your burger? Tossing your pizza like a frisbee and it goes into the bathroom. Or your tuna sandwich on the floor? Uh, no, a person sh that prepares food should prepare it right, correctly, and not worry about being in a rush because the other customers don't feel like waiting. Let me tell you about the general public. I used to work, f I used to serve the general public years and years ago. I hated their guts. You want good food, I don't care how rich you are. You wait for it. Otherwise, you're gonna get the fucking shillelagh right across your skull, you fucks. I wish I meet you. I wish I meet up. I met up with you now. The people that used to give me crap. If they do subscribe, I, I knew to a lot of nice people. I met a lot of nice people too. Okay, this practice, when they pick it up quickly enough, they can yeah. still serve it to you. Yeah. Clearly, it is not a good idea. No. To permit this practice in public. And it is likewise risky, risky to do it at home. I know who you are. When it comes to hand hygiene and food safety, there is a great deal of ignorance regarding proper policy and practices. People choose to believe all sorts of unscientific tales, including the five-second rule. People who know better are also failing to wash hands properly, putting themselves and others at risk. But proper hygiene, including hand washing and food handling, is like wearing a seatbelt. Most of the time you do not need the seatbelt, but at that instant when your car careens into a ditch, you are lucky to have it on. Damn right. And, and, well, a condom is different. Condom, you, you definitely need it when you wear, when you wear it. Yeah, seatbelt is... You, 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 in most cases, you you really don't need it. And, and you know what? Some days, if you have a motorcycle, some days you wear your motorcycle helmet and nothing happens. But all it takes is one split second for something to go wrong. So that that's what you got to be prepared for. Now the word hygiene was was that created by a a, a, ma a very popular man by the name of Eugene. Everybody said hi to him. Hygiene. I know it's a cheesy joke, right? Those are the levity bells. In our everyday lives, most of the time we are not exposed to disease-causing germs. But when you do encounter the flu virus, or E. coli bacteria, uh -huh. or are exposed to meningitis or the mumps, you will be safer if you practice good hand washing and food handling. You may never know that you saved yourself from serious disease or even death, as germs are invisible. And being exposed to an infection is not as dramatic as a car crash. That's right. So, buckle up in the car and practice good hygiene. That's right. And 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 you and and throw away the disposable gloves if you work in the food industry. Change them often. Never handle money and food at the same time. You knuckleheads, you. And uh, please wear your motorcycle helmet. Please don't be like Gary Busey. You know, 
That means washing hands properly after using the bathroom. That's right, you jabronis. And before eating. That's right. And not eating food. Right. That fell on the floor. That's absolutely right. You're right. I even wash a vitamin when it falls on the floor. And you're right, you're right. Oh yeah, I rinse the you hell out. Pick it up, I mean, you know. Well, if it's a ta... Well, even if it's a capsule. I mean, it's not gonna like... It's not gonna disintegrate through, through the, the, the casing that quickly. I mean, you could rinse it enough where it's clean. You know what I mean? If it's a capsule, it's not gonna... The gelatin is not gonna melt that fast. So it could be done, sure. You may never find out that you just avoided a doubt of food poisoning. But believe me, it is better than the alternative. Yeah. Risking serious disease. And when you prepare food, always use different cutting boards. Do not Clean use... Clean it, especially with chicken and stuff like that and wash your hands. Poultry, poultry should only be cut on one board. Don't cross-contaminate. Uh, 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 vegetables, uh, 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 salads on a board of its own. Uh, I guess uh, pork and beef on, on a third board. Do not ever put anything on the poultry board Ugh. because of risk of salmonella. And if you put a salad, a lettuce or some uh, uh, vegetables on the beef and pork you know you got you might have E. coli you might have what is that that pork has trigonosis well that probably is not around anymore that trigon okay all right now, and oh really quick and and this is no joke this Someone is serious e. coli. this is very serious very serious this is the James P. Madonna produce wash homemade produce wash uh. fill up your bucket with tap water um, could be room temperature or cold. Put a dash of uh, uh, white vinegar, a, a, a dash of hydrogen peroxide, and some baking soda. You don't have to measure them particularly, just like a little glug, 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 you know, uh, layman's terms, glug, glug, glug. It may, maybe it might be about a quarter of a cup, I don't, I don't know. Uh, and then you, you mix it and you let your produce soak. Could be for 15 minutes, I, you know, so I do a half hour. And, and then you will rinse well. That will take, kill bacteria, everything. Take off the pesticides, you know, remove any pesticides, dirt, dust, what have you. All right? You can do that. They say even removes the wax from wax fruit. I don't like to buy fruit with wax on it because that seals in the pesticides. Oh, yeah. And if it's coming from Chile, South America, oh, like an apple or whatever. Why the hell do we need to import apples? Well, the problem is that South More America, South America, is still using the old DDT that, when it got banned in the United States, of course an American company can't take a loss. Heaven forbid, right? Yeah. So they sold it to overseas. So they're still using the DDT down there. Yep. So you gotta, you gotta be aware of these things. I mean, uh, I, I am very happy that there are countries, more and more countries, banning Monsanto's GMOs and going organic. I salute all of you countries that are saying no to Monsanto. And now uh, I believe Vermont is giving Monsanto the boot. Hey. Hey, why, why, why are Hil why are Hillary Clinton campaign people meeting with Vermont super delegates? That's Bernie country. That's Sanders country up there. What the fuck is she doing, sticking her nose? Because in she's trying to woo them now to her side. How much? Something how much today? does she need on her side? She's already won by cheating. She's already won by cheating. She wants to woo more. Yes, because she wants to unite the, the party. I don't think I don't think all the super delegates have made the final decision yet. The, all the super delegates. You know well, they I mean? were added to her slate, weren't they? 
from the beginning. From the beginning? Yeah. From the beginning, she was the projected winner. Hey. Yeah. You know, then, well, why does the party have to survive? Why, oh, why does the Democratic Party have to be unified? Who the fuck cares about an establishment political party when you have a perfectly Bingo. good progressive party sitting over there with Ralph Nader and Jill Stein and all, all kinds of really good people called the Green Party? And maybe, maybe a new progressive party, who knows? Why the hell do you need the two-party system? That's everybody. That's all I I, 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 I read about it on the internet. Mm -hmm. Solidarity of the Democratic Party. Who cares? Go belly up. Like insurance companies. Go belly up. You know the, your attitude towards people is despicable. You know. I mean, I wish we did have universal health care so you can go belly up. Anton Yelchin. A rising actor, oh. best known for playing Chekhov in the new oh, yeah. Star Trek films, oh, yeah. was killed oh, really? by his own car Seriously? as it rolled down his driveway early on Sunday. Chekhov was accidentally killed? The car pinned Yelchin. 27 against a brick mailbox pillar 27 27 years old huh? and a security fence at his home in Los Angeles Tw how could he be 27 this is not the original check off did you not hear I in I emphasized it new Star Trek oh but old man Chekhov is still alive. That is correct. Oh, okay. Well, that's a shame. He's such a young guy. He had gotten out of his vehicle. I noticed they're not mentioning the vehicle, which was a Jeep Cherokee. Well, you the know, Jeep Cherokees have a problem with the gear shift. You think you put it in park and you didn't. And the car rolled. That's a nice juicy lawsuit by his family. That's correct. Against the Chrysler Corporation. Because uh, he just got the uh, the uh, letter, you know, to take it in and have it fixed. Recall? A recall, yes. Well, you know, people in Southern California in, 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 in around LA, they just have to live way up on those hills, you know, where there's landslides, or, I mean mudslides, and uh, the, uh, you get frequent visiting from uh, 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 cougars no. in your backyard, mountain lions. And I had raccoons the, on my uh, roof. The Hollywood. Uh, the other night. No, that 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 hill that says that where the big letters Hollywood yes. is. No, there's cougars up there. What is that drive? Uh, Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive. That is so. Uh, that's like a racing course where you only can go five miles an hour. Well, you know, Mulholland is the one who built, back in, in the pioneer days, Los Angeles. Uh, he, he played a key role in uh, the development of L.A. Yeah, Mr. Mulhall, Mulholland, that was named after him. He had gotten out of the vehicle momentarily. Poor kid. But police did not say why he was behind it when it started rolling. Maybe he was on his smartphone, texting. He was Yelchin up. was on his way to meet friends for a rehearsal. When he didn't show up, the group came to his home and found him dead. Damn. The freak accident tragically cuts short the promising career of the Russian-born actor. And yeah, life, too. Huh whom audiences were still getting to know and who had great artistic ambition. Star Trek Beyond, the third film in the rebooted series, comes out in July. It's a shame though, guy. such a young young man, you know. It's, it's a, by a freak accident. A freak accident is generally an accident that should not have happened. It's a freak. It's a freak of like a like a fluke, like like it, it's like 
It's like when Dr. Robert Atkins he slipped uh, on the ice. Walked in uh, in front of his the entrance to his uh, office, his his medical clinic, and slipped on the ice and hit his head, and ended up dying from that. Meanwhile, he's he was the, one of the kingpins of nutrition uh -huh. of all times, and he and he has this freak accident that di that killed him. Right. Or like or if you slip on something in the bathtub, or you know. Something that shouldn't have happened, like uh, my um, brother-in-law's, my brother-in-law's cousin's mother-in-law. She was elderly, but she was okay. She was fine. She slips in the bathroom and hits her head, and oh. she dies from that. Oh my! Lord. I would consider that a freak accident. Of course. It, 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 it's uh, a, a, a untimely, untimely death, unexpected, untimely death. You know, it, 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 it's like um, it's like a freak out. It's like a fluke of fate, really. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like a fickle finger of fate. You know, we are so fragile. We are barnacles on the dinghy of life. I think I heard that on the Odd Couple. That's a good metaphor. Barnacles on the dinghy of life. Okay. The fickle finger of fate was laughing, right? Yeah. Fickle finger of fate award. Right, anyway, we're going to take a break. Lunchtime. And uh, and then uh, we usually have our, our lunchtime banter. And then there we'll, is a banter. And then we'll uh, we, you'll be joined by our uh, commercial voiceover <coughs> specialist, William Hamilton Morrow III, with promo. And also, how to defeat a conservative Bible versus simply hit the pause button, read it, and learn. You can hit the pause button. You know, you people that used to cry, oh, wah, wah, wah. Your, 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 your shows are too long. Split them up in, in many little show videos. Hey, hit the pause button. Do what you got to do. Come back. When you log off the computer, just just t take over where you left off. That's all you gotta do. Why even, the fuck even, do you need? Even YouTube allows you to do that. Why the fuck do you when need? When you watch a movie. Part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. You know? Hey, we tried that. It didn't make a damn bit of difference. Those are you people, people don't are give a damn jabronis about the content of the show. They don't care. I don't know how. What makes Americans think today, or especially millennials, totally illogical, completely illogical? Whether you have a state-of-the-art studio or whether you you're in your your mother's dining room, like that kid, that geek, you know, blah, 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 blah. with with with, with twenty thousand views. I don't care. There is no logic in today's humanity. None whatsoever, especially Americans. Totally, totally illogical. They don't really want to be happy. They don't really want change. They don't really want the grassroots progressive revolution. No. They want to be miserable. They want to they want those they want those plagues from the end time from the book of Revelation. They want them. They want them. They want to suffer. They want to get banged up the ass with no, with no uh, astroglide, no KY okay, jelly. That's 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 ridiculous. They uh, they want to suffer. They don't want. They're suffering under the rich and the corporations. Do, do you really? Under the do you really place. think? Well, that's a, a, a figuratively. Yeah, but the rich are going to have those too. See, I don't see you think you, you think is. you think the rich are gonna are gonna the rich have bunkers in in missile silos for They're God's sake. They're still going to suffer under the end time play. Well, I guess they're going to be in for a mighty. Okay. They're going to be in for a mighty big surprise when those when them dark plagues start. Well, they'll be in a very big surprise when the United States is nothing anymore. Hey, I bet the Koch brothers and, and Hillary Clinton, I when bet, I bet they away. I bet they think they're going to take it all as with them. Captives. What? When we are taken away as captives, slaves, right. the Americans, right. 
No, but I mean these people that are never rich enough who are maybe enough, it's almost like they think they're going to take it all with them like the pharaohs. Well, obviously they do, don't they? Yes, that's what I mean. Again, illogical. All right, we'll see you. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow III, for doing promo. Now... The balance of the show begins now. Now, um, Friday, I switched cable companies. I, uh, I went from Optimum, which was charging way too much for what they were giving, and I switched to Verizon Fios, which is a dedicated fiber optics line. I noticed a big difference. I noticed a difference. Everything is faster. Even the remote is easier to, to handle figure out definitely uh, the, the modem or the router or whatever is, is much thinner more streamlined everything the cable boxes are smaller and streamlined I, I mean it's definitely an upgrade technologically so I'm happy with that and the price is a lot cheaper than what Optimum is charging for not having fiber optics they, they're, they're using the coaxial twisted copper cable. Uh, now we have fiber optics from the company into the basement. From the basement throughout the house is copper. But everything else is dedicated fiber optics. So, you know, um, I told the guy, I asked the guy, you know, does this mean I have a static IP address because it's a dedicated, unshared line? He says, no, you got to pay separate for that. What else is new? You know, corporate America. What else is new? So then I asked him about the strike. I said, I'm glad you guys won your strike. He says, we didn't win anything. Uh -huh. I says, well, the article on the internet said you guys got what you wanted and everything. He says, it's bull, bullshit. <laughs> the strike w is over and we have to pay a little more for our health insurance. Oh, you have to pay more for your health insurance? So that means that means the union didn't really fight that hard 
for you guys against Verizon because you are you're you got your jobs back and you're not really getting that much more money you just you know you, and you have to pay more for your health insurance well that's not a gain so I told them the story about you know how people that work for UPS are in the Teamsters and they're, they're working in a, sh in a hell hole, a shit hole you know I wouldn't wish that job on my worst enemy you know and they're not I mean the the techs that work for Verizon that union obviously didn't do right by them because they have to pay more for their health insurance now if we had universal health care we wouldn't have to worry about any of this bullshit Huh. Now, do you see what I mean about keeping everything privatized and free market capitalism? And the unions, they're just not really fighting. I mean, can't. they can kick ass, you know. No, they can't. Why can't you? Because Put me in charge. Unions, I'll kick, I'll, I'll take unions, on the whole company. I'll, be, I'll smack them around. Unions are in disdain today. I, I, they, oh, they, as long as they exist, they can fight. Well, that's what they're not doing because they are no longer existing. They are slowly attriting. Attrition is killing them. What? What? Because corporations do not like them. Who cares what the rich think and what they don't think? This is war, buddy. This is class war. You better learn from the recent election, my friend. This is class war. The people don't want change. Is that why... Well, you can preach all you want. Are you trying to say... See, no coolions. See these balls? No coolions. Are you trying to say that, um, that companies have easy access to possibly scab workers? If the union goes on strike, or how does the union so. how does the union end up taking a cut in benefits instead of a gain, a surplus in, in benefits? Well, from the union's point of view, it's better than losing the union. How does the union how does the union itself become in danger? How in danger of what? Because corporations don't want them, and guess of who course has they more never power. wanted them. And guess who has more power but they never, than you? But they never wanted them. No kidding. That's why they're getting rid of them. How could slowly a, but surely? How could a corporation get rid of an organization that hates them? How do you? How do do they get rid of them? By getting scabs. By getting other workers than those in unions. So we're talking about preventing unions. What do they do down south? We're talking about sellouts, right? What are we? What do they do down south? Hey, people better not give up their guns. That's With their say. right to work laws. Oh, that crap! They prevent unions. Yes. Well, they they might pay you. you they might pay the non-union scab. Maybe they'll pay you pretty good, and they'll give you a good benefits to keep the unions out. That's one way they'll do it. It's, uh, you know, um, um, um. They don't want to pay benefits. That's why they're getting rid of unions. Well, then how, then how do they keep the workers from going with a union? If the workers are... successful. Let, let, let me tell you something. If the workers become angry and disgruntled and say, I hate this scumbag fucking CEO or this company is not paying me enough, this fucking company's not giving me enough benefits, and, and why the hell should I care about my job performance? I got to get out of bed in the morning for this fucking company. Of course, somebody like that is going to say, "Hey, man, where do I sign? I'll join that union." Yeah, but they prevent them from doing that. They they prevent the union from coming in. That's correct. And those that are there. They cut and cut and cut and cut yeah. till there's nothing left. Well, that's that's kind of like what, what I was explained to by somebody in the pro wrestling industry. You, you never had a pro wrestling union. There you go. Because there are too many people that are, are suck-ups that are willing to do favors for the promoters 
for free just to get a spot. They're so desperate to get that exposure. People do that they'll do will they'll not cooperate. Kiss up. People do not know Americans today do not know how to properly unify. Uh -huh, correct. The word sol solidarity. Correct. To to come together and to fight as one unit. Everybody has their own like selfish agenda. That's capitalism. There's no unit. Yeah, well, individual. In uh, uh, the um, where did I he hear that before? About oh yes, there. They said that the, the maybe there's more than one, but they said that the pope that started the Inquisition was Pope uh, uh, Gregory. Uh, there might have been more than one Pope Gregory. Because I know there was something called the Gregorian calendar, right? But anyway, Pope Gregory started the Inquisition because the Catholic Church, or he in particular, felt threatened by <coughs> science and not uh, educating people. And other religions. Uh, 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 he, didn't, uh, he felt threatened by, by people in other religions, uh -huh. by sorcerers, uh, uh, a cult, anybody in a different religion that wasn't Catholicism, uh, if, if you were guilty of witchcraft, if you're so they had people going out looking for heretics, uh -huh. guilty of heresy, and yeah. then they would torture you and then burn you to the stake. <laughs> but, but I'm not talking about the uh, the other religions and the witchcraft. I'm talking. Let's focus on science. He didn't like science. He didn't want the people to uh, advance mentally or te technologically. It was bad for him. It was bad for for society and for the church for people to have more knowledge. Look at the image. He suppressed science. Look at the image. Yeah. Same thing. They don't want change. Same thing. They don't want advancement. They don't want evolution. No, and then and then he he mentioned he didn't want individuality. Isn't that the oh, same? Of as course. A, isn't that the same as a critical free thinker? Absolutely. With an open mind. Absolutely. Individuality. One who will question us. We do not like that. To question us. And, That's and, what Martin Luther did. And what was mentioned also during the Inquisition by the by the Pope Gregory is uh, uh, he didn't want any any threat to the status quo. That's correct. Kind of sounds familiar familiar to you, doesn't it? Yes. Sounds familiar. Same old, same old. Same old, same. <coughs> same old, same old. Has has anything really changed? No since then? No human evolution. You have the it has only happened on an individual basis. You have the totalitarian popes, you have the totalitarian monarchs, the kings, royal families, and now you have the corporate oligarchy since the Industrial Revolution, and you have like, uh, what's the say? There's no difference. They're all totalitarian, they're all uh, 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 the the wealthy hoarding everything for themselves and giving nothing to you. It's the same system. It's yeah. the same system. You know. Now, by the way, what, what Fidel Castro said recently was right about the NATO and the United States and Israel all be, are guilty of creating ISIS and uh, 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 he says NATO is equal to Nazi stormtroopers, you know the the war mongering and blah 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 blah. Hey, okay. well, uh, yeah, but if that's the case, uh, you can't you can't make those comparisons today. Well, from Nazi whatever Germany. they do bad, they do it differently than the stormtroopers do. Yeah. Okay. It's more subtle. You mean. Ah, thank you. It's more subtle, you know yeah. the uh, 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 like the, like this. Uh, reenactment of the draft for both men and women you know but it's never the rich kids that go so, interesting how all this works uh, gee I wonder if Chelsea's uh, I wonder if uh, Hillary's grandchildren from Chelsea will end up going <laughs> to 
to a war that she starts. <laughs> uh, that would be a quick payback, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'll that'll be a Twilight Zone episode. Uh. Karma at its best. Yeah. So anyway, return to the readings. Return with us now to return those days to send of yesterday. A Address a no, no such number. Oh boy, we are long winded, man. Probably my fault. Much of the attention during the presidential campaign will be on the two major party nominees. But as far as the Republicans are concerned, this election is more than just about Donald Trump. For instance, over the last seven plus years, President Obama has had a responsible constructive record. The stock market has more than doubled. Ugh. The deficit has been cut by two-thirds. Unemployment has been cut by more than one half. Osama bin Laden is dead and the United States auto industry was saved. And more than 15 million Americans have health insurance who didn't have it before. What have Republicans been doing during this time? They tried to sabotage Obamacare True. by voting to repeal it more than 60 times. They tried to sabotage everything Obama wanted uh, because they don't want the black man in the White House. Uh, that's obvious, you know, but Obama is, is still establishment, you know, capitalist politician. He, you know, he's, not, he's not like having a Bernie Sanders. So anyway. They tried, most of they held hostage an increase to the debt ceiling and in the process shut the government down and almost forced a catastrophic default on our debt. They keep trying to strip funding from Planned Parenthood and won't stop their endless B Benghazi investigation until they find something on Hillary Clinton, despite multiple probes showing otherwise. Bullshit. Bullshit. She's guilty. She's guilty. She's guilty. And from the first day of Obama's presidency, Senate Republicans have immaturely and stubbornly blocked an unprecedented number of executive yeah, and better. judicial branch nominees. I bet this this person wants to go down on Hillary Clinton. I challenge Republicans to name one, just one, responsible or constructive thing they've done for their country. No, just one! I can't think of any. I can't think of any, but he shouldn't be protecting that, that vile, evil witch Hillary Clinton. You see, these are people that are... Uh, that seem to be devoting their whole life to saving the Democratic Party. It's like everything's Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. Got to get away from the two major party system, you know. And money, overturning Citizens United, which is still a big topic. Well, uh, it's uh, still going to remain a topic. Uh, Bernie Sanders. With Bernie God. Bernie Sanders is not happy with the uh, the issue platform of, for the uh, Democratic National Convention. Oh, I wonder why. The, the, uh, the platform is not, uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it is not progressive. what is on the minds of mainstream Americans and it is not progressive. Thank you. You gotta, you gotta really think hard about what the Democratic Party is today. And it's not anything like the party of FDR, Truman, and JFK. And it's it's a, it's the same flip side of the uh, it's 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 the opposite side of the same uh, corporate oligarch coin. You know, I don't know when people are going to realize that. You know, it's like they know. What, what issues are important to them, but they're not 
hearing it mm -hmm. from the people they're supporting, like Hillary. It's like you're not using not not even common sense in your political decisions. I would say over half of the people who will eventually vote for Hillary are voting for her for one reason and one reason only. I know. She'll be the first woman in the White House. You want to make history. Hey, yeah, you made history with Barack Obama and he, he ended up being a corporatist. You know, Monsanto Protection Act, pro-TT, uh, I mean, TPP, TPP, you know, I mean, uh, 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 not really ending the wars like was promised. Or Guantanamo. Guantanamo. I, I'm surprised the Castro family is not getting help from Russia and China to kick the U.S. out of Guantanamo. Because that, that's technically Cuban land. Hmm. I'm surprised they're tolerating America's presence in uh, Guantanamo. They have for a long time. You know, they could easily, you know, send the Russian nuclear navy over there saying, get the fuck out of here. Putin can say, get the fuck out of Cuba. You know. I believe that the press has a role to play in the war against terrorism. <coughs> Acts of terrorism are frequently messages sent by the perpetrators to publicize their cause or their viewpoint. Reporting more than the most basic of details grants them the publicity they crave. Not mentioning their names viewpoints or causes devalues the act of terrorism. Do not give them publicity. Well, they get plenty of it. Don't they? Coolions. No cool, no coolions. No coolions. No coolions. Oh, there was an article on a pro-Obama person that's on my friends list about how the media did not uh, make public um, like uh, uh, it was a part of the country where there was um, uh, a Muslim uh, Middle Eastern neighborhood and they were all running in the streets screaming death to America, death to America Ugh. and it was like a big riot but it was not it was not shown it was not shown on the news there's a lot of big things going down that are not shown on the news Bingo. So, you, know, you see how they don't want American people to see certain things you know? because the news is corporate funded the stations are corporate funded so so do they think that if if all Americans saw Muslims shouting death to America that it would uh, that there would be uh, a violence perpetrated against uh, Muslim Americans? There probably would be more, uh, yes. Uh, uh, altercation, you know, uh, uh, retribution. What, what happened with that guy uh, the other day uh, with the Imam? He said he was, You people are trying to kill us! Wait. And then he tried to kill the Imam. The mom? Imam! What the, the hell? The leader of the mosque! Oh, I don't know these Imam. terms, you jabroni. Muslim. A Muslim, he's like a preacher, a priest, a minister of Islam. How come I didn't even hear on the mainstream media about this the teenager that, that, that fired a, a bullet at, at Donald Trump? Oh, I didn't hear that. It was in, it was in, in several articles on, online. I didn't hear You're it on the news. It. Boy, the news, uh, today's American media doesn't want you to know anything. Nothing. It's all about, it's all about Hillary, 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 Trump, 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 Hillary, Trump, Trump, Hillary, Hillary, Trump. It's the same thing. That if anything happens, they don't Follow tell you. Follow the bouncing ball. Follow They're the not, bouncing ball. Follow the bouncing ball. Mm -hmm. Sing along with Mitch Miller, remember him? Yeah. They're not telling you anything. They don't want you to know anything. Nothing. Propaganda. Not news. 
It's all scripted, I bet, too. Millions of Social Security beneficiaries mm -hmm. would get a tiny increase in monthly payments oh. next year. Oh, don't spend it all in one place, people. A tiny increase. The increase will be less than $2.50. <laughs> Hey, seven bells for two dollars and fifty cents. My uncle used to ha hand me two dollars and say, "Hey, kid, don't spend it all in one place." That's how he get, sounded. I used to get a quarter. Well, yeah, but you're you're older than me. Well, don't, hey, kid, don't spend it all. Don't forget where where your uh, the money came from. You know, you're fucking these old Italians. Uh, they, they always throw it up to your face when they give you something, you know. It's like I, you know, it, it's better not to get the money from them. Yeah. The 250, 250 is about enough to buy a gallon of gas. Oh, one whole gallon? Wow, how Boy, exciting. That's that gonna, will help our economy, won't it? That's going to really Consumer make... Consumer spending. It's going to make Ooh. your life that much better. Wow, you get an extra gallon of gas in your tank. Forget about, like, maybe f filet mignon and a lobster tail for for dinner. Oh, no. Or ribeye steak. Oh, no. Oh, no, but you get gas. Meanwhile... Medicare is expected to go bankrupt sooner than expected. Oh gee, I wonder. Twelve years from now. Oh gee, I wonder why. And some beneficiaries could face higher monthly premiums next year. Let me guess. Washington wants to privatize everything connected to health care. Uh, the annual report. Well, no, fra fraud is rampant in Medicare. Oh, doctors? Oh, yeah. The doctors yeah. say what they want and they get it. They're ripping off, they've been ripping off. And then off. they complain. They don't want to take Medicare patients. They don't pay me enough. Hey, my doctor decided to stop taking Medicaid. There you because go. Because they don't, well, it's the same deal. They don't pay them enough. Well, Medicare uh, uh, gives them less money, too, for what they normally get. No, they Medicare. get they get much more. They can give me they can make more from private. That's the problem. But but but, but in but. England they pay the doctors. They are not in it privately for fee for service. Like here. So the doctor in private he can make more money from the bum the guys who come off the street. But isn't it with isn't, a Cadillac health insurance? But isn't committing fraud against Medicare you know, stealing from the government? It's stealing from us. What are you talking about? The government. We are the government. It's they're, stealing from. They're Pakistan. stealing, and they're getting away with it, right? Well, Wall Street got away with it in 2008. How come you don't see doctors being brought to justice for this? How come you don't see Wall Street bankers brought to justice for this? You don't see it. But with the little guy, they'll, yeah. they'll throw away the key. That's correct. That's correct. You see people serving life sentences for marijuana. You see a guy in Texas serving a life sentence for kiting three checks. Three strikes and you're out law, Three right? strikes and you're out, yes. And, and I heard the uh, stand your ground law is not doing so well. You know, you got people uh, getting pissed at his fellow man and blowing them away. Well, I think it was—I uh, think she was four years old. A little four-year-old girl, girl the other day shot her, shot herself in the eye. She's dead. How'd she get the gun? I don't know. Well, you know, the, them dog rednecks like to teach their youngins how to use a firearm. Not a water pistol like I had. I had water pistols. I had a know. cap pistol. Yeah. No, they want them to. They put real. Real big guns in their hands. They want. They want them to to learn so they can protect the family against the government. And who's running the government? Who the fuck knows? The, the Republicans. So who are they afraid of? I mean the NRA ass kissers. So who are they afraid of? Nobody ever came for their friggin' guns. Exactly. Nobody ever. But came. it's a good. It's a good uh, 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 raising money tool, ain't it? 
for the Republican Party. Yeah, it's really uh, so hi hypocritical. <laughs> American politics, I mean... Uh, it's pathological! You know, and uh, when these uh, right-wing uh, Republican evangelicals talk, it's like, what the fuck are you, what are you telling me? You, ha you can't prove your religion. Your religion is a cult, number one. But even even yeah. if you were one of those nice Bible studying Christians, you, sh you still can't prove it. So why are you Zeus trying... Zeus does not exist. Why are you trying to mix religion with politics? It, 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 it works. Po politics should be based on yeah. evidence. You know, like, uh, you know, uh, you convict the the murderer because without a shadow of a doubt he's found, he or she's found guilty of, of first degree murder mm -hmm. blah 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 or whatever crime they commit Justice you have system is supposed to be blind you have evidence blind. evidence unbiased evidence same thing with everything else you want to talk to the the, the greatest uh, scientific minds if you're the president of the United States you don't want to talk to a bunch of evangelical idiots that think the earth is only 5,000 years 6, old. 6,000. 6,000 years old. The annual report from the trustees of the government's two bedrock retirement programs warned that politically gridlocked Washington needs to act sooner rather than later to shore up finances and avoid upending the lives of millions of retirees and their families. Social Security's trust funds are expected to be depleted in 2034. Depleted? Stolen, you mean? Unchanged from the trustees' projection one year ago. Medicare's trust fund for inpatient care will be exhausted, excuse me, in 2028, two years earlier than previously projected. I mean, lead dry by the vampires. If Congress allows either fund to run dry, millions of Americans living on fixed incomes would face steep cuts in benefits. Yeah, steep cut, right? From ear to ear. Lawmakers should address these financial challenges as soon as possible. Taking action sooner rather than later will permit consideration of a broader range of solutions and provide more time to phase in changes so that the public has adequate time to prepare. The projected increase Listen closely. Let's see. Is zero point two percent. Wow. Holy guacamole, Batman. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> Holy shit. I think today, um, savings accounts are paying 0 0.025. Hey, don't spend it all in one place, people. <laughs> and uh, these payments would come a year after beneficiaries received no increase. By law, increases are based on a government measure of inflation, which has been low. The official 2017 cost of living adjustment, or COLA, won't be determined until the fall. Advocates complain that the government's measure of inflation, the CPI, for urban wage earners and clerical workers, doesn't adequately reflect the prices that older Americans pay. Seniors continue to see their modest Social Security benefits eaten away by growing health care costs. 
more than 60 million retirees, disabled workers, spouses, surviving children, receive Social Security benefits. The average monthly payment is about $1,232. After Social Security's trust funds are depleted, the program would collect enough in payroll taxes to pay only 79% of benefits. Medicare's problem is more immediate and more complicated because health care costs can change in unpredictable ways. Medicare provides health insurance for more than 55 million people, including seniors and disabled people. After its inpatient care trust funds run dry in 2028, mm. Medicare would be able to pay only 87% of projected costs. Medicare's insolvency date has moved closer. Despite a recent stretch of slow growth in health care costs, with notable exceptions like prescription drugs, Experts who advised the trustees said the change of insolvency dates was mainly technical, due in part to lower than expected income from payroll taxes. In more worrisome news, the trustees said that some Medicare beneficiaries may face sharply higher Part B monthly premium for outpatient care next year. By law, increases in premiums for most Medicare recipients cannot exceed their increase in Social Security payments. So about 70% are held harmless. Mm. However, about 30% of beneficiaries are not covered by that safeguard. Those who would feel the impact include new beneficiaries and people with higher incomes. The trustees project that the base monthly premium for this group will increase by $27 to $149. Okay. Oh, that should do it, right, for the week? No. So you have one and of another those one here. change of pace? Slightly. Slightly. Okay. Right. One more though, right? Rock giant Led Zeppelin did not lift the music that formed the basis for their iconic hit, Stairway to Heaven. A jury found on Thursday clearing the iconic band of accusations that it stole the opening of one of Rock's most celebrated songs. Uh, somebody was suing them, trying to get, get on the, in on the action? Yep, yep, yep. There's always a vampire out there trying to, trying to uh, become a parasite off of the very successful. The unanimous decision by the panel of eight men and women came after a week-long trial in which Zeppelin, guitarist Jimmy Page, and singer Robert Plant, and bassist John Paul Jones took the stand to rebut the claim of thievery and tell how the band's most famous song was created nearly a half a century ago. Jones was not a defendant in the case. Page and Plant hugged members of their defense team after the clerk read the verdict. At issue in the case was whether the British band stole the opening passage of Stairway from Taurus, an instrumental song by singer Randy Wolf. So, it, so the only thing they had in common was the one word, stairway. So they're basing... Titles are not copyrighted. No, but they're basing, they're basing it on the one music. word. 
the music. So, so, not a title. So Taurus used the word stairway, and Taurus. You listen to what I'm saying? The music. But it's only the one. The intro. Yeah. De -de 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 -de. But it's only one word that they're bitching about. It's not a word. It's an instrumental on a guitar. It's the notes. The band Taurus, or from the song Taurus, whatever, is claiming that the notes were the same. Oh. That means plagiarism. Yeah. Copyright infringement. I was thinking of something frivolous like uh, in, in the fitness industry, Mr. Scott Sonin claims to have copyrighted the word circular training. Nobody could use them. Well, how could you copyright circular training if circular and training are in the dictionary? If that is a title, it is uncopyrightable. If it's a title. If it's well, what a, do you think it is when you've just... You've just catch said, word. You've just done that. It's a Ca phrase. Catch phrase, yeah. Circular training. You are making that a title. Titles are not copyrightable. Right. No, he doesn't even use it as a title. He uses that as a sales pitch catchphrase. Whatever. You know, circular, big deal. Circular. Any, anything that goes in a circle, cyclical. And training, big deal. I, I could, I could just sue people over that. But he's he's that ego maniacal. But anyway, getting back to the anyway, Mr. Randy Wolf, also known as Randy California, <laughs> Randy California, who wrote and performed with his L.A. rock outfit, Spirit, which gained some popularity in the late 1960s and 70s for its novel fusion of rock with jazz and other styles of music. Wolf died in 1997. At stake were potentially millions of dollars in royalty payments, which would have gone to the estate of Mr. Wolf. The dispute po focused on a brief passage that arrives 45 seconds into Taurus, an instrumental from Spirit's 1968 debut album. Those notes, which evoke centuries-old Renaissance folk music, sound similar to the opening guitar chords of Stairway, which was released in 1971, three years after well, I love Led Zeppelin. I always did. I salute and honor Led Zeppelin. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to dedicate this week's show to the rock group Led Zeppelin because politically I had nothing favorable to say. I'm not in a good mood at all this week. And uh, let's just dedicate the show to something positive, which is the uh, legendary group Led Zeppelin. And they won their case, right? All right, congratulations, gentlemen. Led Zeppelin won their case. All right. I, I love that song, Cashmere. It's great. But anyway, thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. We'll see what the next, the, the following week brings us. Because, uh, Forget about my garden, man. My plants are all messed up. Climate change. Forget it. The only thing that's coming up is Trouble. sage. Everything else, kaput. Well, now you can make sage mashed potatoes. Ooh, sage chases away evil spirits. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, sage is a great is a great culinary Ooh. addition to you chicken, right? Hey. Sage, sage, hey. sage, 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 hey, uh, seven bells for sage. Hey, I, oh, he's a supernatural spirit. Oh, I'm so afraid of the peace. Oh, no, sage cleanses Ooh, all, all negative energy. Are you kidding me? Amy Allen of the Dead Files talks about it every week. Damn. She's a Wiccan, uh, I think, high priestess you know or something. Says, Wiccan, 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 high priestess, what? Suffer not a witch to live. 
sage is powerful and it's tasty too. Goodbye. It may be powerful in mashed potatoes, but that's about it. Ah, come on, you don't believe. You're a non-believer. Don't, don't be a hater of the craft. The conjuring craft. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? It's Enzo Amore, right? How you doing? How you doing? Eh. Hey. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.